Artificial has been pushing the boundaries of 12.2 S2V. So what do you think? Does pose control really make the lip sync better? We might be rivaling infinite talk now. Hey everyone, the artificial trainer here. Welcome in, welcome back to my channel. I've been playing a lot with Juan 2.2 S2V after you know seeing all the criticism it got versus infinite talk. And I think there's some ways that we can push it to make it just as good as infinite talk, if not better. I found especially when someone's holding something. So if you want to do a person talking about a product or something, S2V seems much better than Infinite Talk. So let's get into it. If you head to my Patreon, I, I put these assets in so that you could also try to do the workflow exactly how I'm doing it. And I fixed the seeds. So I think if you run the workflows with the assets, you should get the exact same generations as me as you're trying this. But first, before we get into doing the generations, let's do the model downloads. So if you head to the description below, all the model downloads should be down there. I know there's a lot of models here. We'll talk about what I'm using them for and whether you need them or not for your purposes. But the first model here is the STV model. You're definitely going to need that one. The next two are for doing image to video. So I'm going to create an image first run image to video on it. And then we're going to do S to V on that character's pose in that video. We have the scaled UMT five tax encoder. Definitely need that. Uh, you don't need the second VAE here. That one's for the wrapper. We're going to use native. And then the first two light X Laura's are for image to video. If you're going to do image to video a different way, then you don't need those. And then the second, the third one is the light X to V image to video. Laura for one 2.1. And then the last is this audio encoder. You'll definitely need that for STV. So just I'll show you a quick one. All right, so I download the audio encoder and it tells us to put the audio encoder in the models slash audio encoders folder. So I'm going to open up my comfy Y folder and then we're going to go to models audio encoders. So models audio encoders and you can see I already have the audio encoder we need here. So I'm not going to you just drag it in there. But since I already have it, I'm not going to do that. And then do the same for the rest of these. Like and subscribe if you haven't already it really helps the channel helps me create more content. I've been working with a lot more film and VFX studios. So I'm excited to kind of get some industry practices out there. Show you guys what's working in the industry and what's not. <laughs> And while the models are downloading, I'd really appreciate it if you kept the video running. I know the models take a little while to download. So if you watch the whole video and then come back when the models finish downloading, then you can, you'll be well equipped to actually run the workflows. All right, so let's get into the workflows now. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to do an image to video generation. So I have a Quinn workflow available, but you can use whatever image generation you want. Let's drag that in. And then you could just run this if you want to get the exact same generation I did. If you want a different generation, then go ahead and generate however you want to. All right. So there is the image that we generated. Next thing we're going to do is run an image to video pass on it. So let's grab the image to video workflow and drag that in. And then we're going to drag our start image in as the load, the load image. And just make sure if you renamed your models or anything, or if you didn't download all the models, just make sure if you want to try this workflow that you did download the image to video models that are needed. All right, and then this definitely works better at 1280 by 720 for the S2V, but because we're just going to use the pose to drive, we can actually generate this at like 640 by 320, or sorry, 640 by 360. And then we'll upscale it when we run it through the pose. All right, so so we got slow motion here. I don't want slow motion for the talking, so I'm going to turn off the light X Laura's and I'm just going to do full image to video generation at 81 frames. And to do that, we bypass the light X Laura's and then we have to set CFG to three point actually to four for image to video and then turn our total steps up to 20. All right, so here's the pose vid. We're going to try 
it's not the highest quality, but that's okay for our purposes because all we need is the pose. All right, so save that off. And then we're gonna grab the S2V workflow and we'll drag that in. We want to load our start image in the load image node here. So you can so you can download that from the Patreon or you can use whatever start image you've been using. And then we wanna put our image to video in here. And then I provided an audio file, it's just a dumb talking file uh, that's AI generated. And you can get that on the Patreon as well. Sounds like this. Potting. Artificial has been pushing the boundaries of 12.2 S2V. So what do you think? Does pose control really make the lip sync better? We might be rivaling infinite talk now. Padding. And now we just want to make sure. So I would generate it 1280 by 720. Anything less than that, you get a lot of artifacts around the mouth. And this should give us a pretty decent output. Let's, so let's run it, let's give it a shot. Running at 1280 by 720, just make sure that you have the FP8 scaled model. The BF16 model, you need a large amount of VRAM to be able to do, um, you know, like 15 second videos. I have 32 gigabytes of VRAM and I add a memory at 1280 by 720. So if you have lower amounts of VRAM, this workflow can be kind of tricky or actually I should say lower amounts of VRAM combined with RAM because the videos are long length and they need to get stored somewhere while it's generating, whether that be RAM or VRAM. So you need to have a high combination of VRAM and RAM to do longer videos. Otherwise I would just get an audio clip that's, you know, five seconds or less and use that. And you shouldn't run into any issues. All right, so here's the result. Potting. Artificial has been pushing the boundaries of 12.2 S2V, so what do you think? Does pose control really make the lip sync better? We might be rivaling infinite talk now. Padding. So you can see the, the lip sync's pretty good. At the beginning, you know, maybe there's a little too much movement for the one S2V video. We get some artifacting around that, that one hand. And I also generated this at 1024 by 576, which technically isn't a one recommended resolution. So that could have had something to do with it as well. I'm going to save this off and then I'm going to show you how to do video to video. So like if you want to drive the audio from a specific video and use the post from that video, which should help with, you know, audio depth. So like the, the, the subject will be just as far away as the original audio which will help make it more believable. Okay, so next thing I'm gonna do is use a Quen control net to turn this start frame to something else. So, all right, so good generation, we can save that off. And then let's go back to STV. We're gonna put in the video we generated as our load video. And then we're going to put in the image we just generated as our drive or as our start image. And then I'm going to just do 832 by 480. If you hold shift and click on the load audio, it'll just drag everything off of that. And you can just drag that straight over to your load video node. Okay. And then we'll run this. All right. And here is our result. Potting. Artificial has been pushing the boundaries of 12.2 S2V. So what do you think? Does pose control really make the lip sync better? We might be rivaling infinite talk now. So you can still see some artifacting around the lips. Um, if we generated at 720, that would be fixed. That typically happens at 480p, even with infinite talk. But the hand movement is much better in this one because we're generating at a resolution that Juan likes. And a lot of artifacting we could easily clean up if we ran this through an upscale pass you know, with either the upscale, uh, ultimate SC upscale tile diffusion, or just running it through a straight up denoise with a one 2.2 text video. Okay, so that is it for this video definitely improves over just using, you know, image to video S to V. So if you just do just put an image in and generate with STV, the results aren't very good. With a pose video, I think it improves it a lot, especially if you're using a driving video where it gives you the audio depth. So check it out. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button for more AI content. Join the Discord, share what you're creating there. I'd love to see it. Appreciate you watching this video, and I'll talk to you again in the next one.